Joining me now, Jack Rosen. He is the president of the American Jewish Congress. Thank you for giving us some of your time this morning. Your organization is calling on the international community to unite in condemning the Hamas attack. Specifically, what nations do you want to hear from in terms of a stronger stance on this? Well, we certainly would, would like to hear from the Arab countries and surrounding countries. They'd be critical, but they, they're not going to stand up for Israel at the moment. Uh, we'd like to hear more out of the Europeans. Uh, and just generally, globally, uh, you know, uh, Israel was attacked in the barbarous massacre. Uh, no nation would allow a terrorist state that performed that kind of act to uh, live next door to it without taking action. And uh, there's no reason to expect Israel to behave any different than any other country protecting its citizens. Sadly, the death toll from this war has now risen and surpassed 10,000. What is the AJC's position on the fighting we're seeing in Gaza right now and the conflict between the Israelis and Hamas? Well, I think everybody would like to see fewer deaths and everybody would like to see humanitarian aid come into uh, Gaza. But we have to understand that in the right context. Uh, Hamas also understands that the extent they show cruelty to the Palestinians, don't allow them to leave in some of these humanitarian corridors that have been opened, uh, and build their tunnels and, bar and headquarters underneath uh, uh, civilian buildings and hospitals and schools. Uh, they are using information, that kind of information, uh, uh, to uh, get Western support, to get Western sympathy. So, it, you know, you've got to see this, I think, in the right context. We. We think we, we, you know, there's nobody who wants to see the death of innocent civilians. But there's also no country that wants to see its people massacred by a bunch of barbarians that are on its border. Israeli, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told ABC News that Israel will have overall security responsibility in Gaza for an indefinite period of time after the war ends. What does that look like, and is that realistic? I, well, I'm not, I'm not sure what he meant by that. Uh, I, uh, I, it's my understanding that the Israelis would also like to see a coalition of uh, countries, uh, countries in the region, uh, the United States, uh, come in and, and, and help govern Gaza and then turn it over to the Palestinians eventually. That seems to be the preferred choice of the Israelis. So I'm not sure what uh, the prime minister exactly meant by having military control. I think if what he was saying is that we, under no conditions, are we going to allow uh, missiles to go to the uh, Gazans, uh, you know, until there's a, you know, some period of time and good governance there, uh, that's different than just assuming that they're going to take over and control Gaza forever. What do you make of the move by the UAE working to establish a field hospital right now in Gaza to help treat wounded Palestinians? I, 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 I you know, I think that's a good positive thing that they're doing. I mean, Palestinians should get whatever aid that we can get that, to them that Hamas allows in. Uh, they've made it very difficult. And uh, innocent civilians, Palestinians, uh, should surely get... Uh, you know, the health care they need, uh, uh, get, get the goods that they need, and, be, you know, live safely if we can get, get to that point. And you, you talk about Arab nations, or you did a moment ago. What about the role of Jordan, for example, in this conflict? The prime minister saying pushing Palestinians out of the West Bank and Gaza would be considered an act of war. Israel says it recognizes relations with Gaza are strategically important. What's your read on the diplomatic complication of that relationship with Israel and Jordan? Well, uh, I think my read is that it's a country that has a majority of Palestinians living there. Uh, and the, uh, the king and the government, Jordan, is very conscious of how many Palestinians could rise up uh, and uh, overthrow the government. So I think they have to uh, speak out against what Israel is doing. Uh, I have my doubts that the Jordanians want to see Hamas continue to be in control in Gaza, um, but they have no uh, political choice at the moment. Jack Rosen, the president of the American Jewish Congress, good to talk to you. Thank you for your time.